would you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Damn, I need a shave. Good. If you need anything, Mr. Pearson, maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? Damn. All right, welcome back, guys. <laughs> so I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. Follow me, little horse zip. Yeah. No telling what's gonna happen. You cool down then yet? I guess. Oh, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Yeah. <laughs> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the <laughs> Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells them to start expecting mail from a Tassus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here we are, Rhodes. Hey, give me that back. We got work to do. Alright, don't get in no trouble, Sadie. Just what do you think you're playing at? What the hell? Okay. Oh, okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No, are you insane? Uh, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This yeah, time, no guns, girl. It'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Ah, you be good, girl. Hi. Right. Come, boy. No, you stay. Stay here, boy. Yeah, stay here. Choo choo. What did you get there, Nothing. Damn, get out of my way, well, fool. Don't surprise me in the least. Alright, I need to deliver Can some mail. Yes, I want to send like this. Post a letter. All right. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, this one and this one. I didn't even know I had that one. Right. Okay, no trouble. Make Thank sure you. I got no bounties on me. Bye now. I think I do. Yep, sixty dollar bounty. Uh, yeah, go ahead, pay. What the hell? All right, we're good. Man for We've had quite enough of your kind here. What? Land for sale. Hello, my lady. Ma'am. Why, hello there, sir. Hello. Alright. Uh, hurry up already. I'm working. Oh, uh, she's got a new get up. I could train my goat to do this faster. Let's get some, let's get some threads. It's a gunslinger now. I'd rather have the sun than the clouds. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't ask for goddamn help. Jesus. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. You sure? You ready? Why don't you drive? Okay. Oh, Come sure. on, lady, get a move on. Yeah, I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of driving. Not lady. I know. Yeah. Well, so, you get everything. I don't think so. All right, horse zip. And some Watch out, horse zip. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Follow like us. I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Cherry pies. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. That's probably an well, object I had to find for. My house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry. About what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just hey, I don't request. treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey uh -oh. there. Hey. What's up, guys? What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. So? Cool you need to pay a toll to pass through here. Yeah, you need to get lost. Oh, I don't think so. You don't think so? Oh, shit. How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, we... how's about this? Ah. Oh. Shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Go. Bye. Do I need to do something? Oh, I shot the horse. What are you doing, girl? Shoot me. Oh. I don't remember asking you to prove it. Lady, you are enjoying this far too much. Hmm, this hat. Let's check this hat out. Yeah, I'm a swap. What are ah. you doing? We should get out of here. We're, we're, all right, I'm coming. Damn. All right, let's roll. Pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. Oh, okay. I'm fine. Hey, you want me to drive? 
Man, we didn't even get 10 feet till you shot somebody. I would have done the same thing. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Ooh, see that drip? If he asked. But maybe not. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, yeah. something like that. Who knows? Who knows? Don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't huh. be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of problems. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I'd be fine conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but. I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. Mm. You've already done me a You had a new favorite. buddy. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. All right. Nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Huh. All right. Arthur. What? Huh? What's up, Jack? Hi, don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, catfish is huge. All right. Stole yourself a new What's hat, up, Unc? <laughs> Mr. Unc. Hello, Arthur. All right, we're going to go ahead and go do Dutch. Well, let's see uh see if there's any other thing missions here. Side jobs. Ah, right, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do Dutch. All right, Dutch. He's over here by the water. Hi, Arthur. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's coughing funny. to death and in and up down here. And dying. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. Many, many, see, many times, man. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Yeah. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. Oh, he wants to go I fishing. It's full of fish. The fishing day, okay. I can do that. Jose. Let's go fishing, man. Where's Jose at? Hey, oh, there hey he is. Okay. Girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy. Come on, where's it? I thought this warmer weather. Yeah. Oh, okay, there you are. Always dream. Uh, let's feed my horse. And okay. Or, oh, whatever the hell that is. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. What is that? What was that? I just gave him anyway. And a, a no cake. I just gave him that one. There you go. It's a lucky day. I'm coming through. Go on. Yeah. 
Yeah. You just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I know, right? I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, it was us. The curious couple and our unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Hmm. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. Damn, I Dutch, you don't so. shut up at all, now, do you? Now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you, of course. All right. Well, we do need I'm with you, Dutch. I'm with you. Keep a low profile, Hell especially yeah. in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. No Start trouble in roads. Dutch has asked rocks. the gang to not use up. weapons Dutch, or cause trouble in roads. Gotta be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks yes, like sir. Play it cool. I ain't scared of the law. I just paid my bounties. I'm good. in a spot to uh, back there. Trelawney's in there. <laughs> well, well, look who it is. Uh -oh, How are you, boys? Break them free. Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. What a name. You are Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mine and investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he was. He's a scammer. I, he is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! The Anderson boys? Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come, Come on, on, buddy. Perhaps Sit on my dear pal. Foolish magician. Let's go! After that train! Let's go, man! Let's do go! shoot them, you hear me? No Come shoot. On, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Uh, faster. Come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster. Come on, Mr. man. Please. Let's go. Is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. What the hell is that? So Why stop like that? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No, did I not say that? You said plenty. Ah. He's taunting me. Oh! Idiot. Oh! <laughs> the train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Get to the side of the train. See the flat carriage? Head for that. All right, I'm going. Come on, horse zip. Let's go. Jump on there? Hey, why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Yeah. Oh, he hit me first. Damn you. 
Look at me, man. What the hell is wrong with you? Adios. All right, get these other guys. Come on. You stop them, I'll stop the train. Where are you going to run to? Oh, I'm going to get you guys. I'm going to get you. Wee. Come on, shit back. Wee. Go on me, man. Get the hell away from me. Gonna be dead. Come on, man. Come on. Ooh, lights out. Come. Coming to get you. Coming to get you, Blondie. Come on, man. Ah. Oh. Oh, you got a knife. You got a knife. Got a knife. Let me go. Can't do that. Come on, man. Oh, train stops. Come on. Damn, he's kicking my ass. That's right, Blondie's down. Blondie's down. Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. Pick him up. Get your ass up, boy. Got a present for you, man. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? He was I a, he, sincerely hope so. He didn't go down Anders easy. Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well um, done. Mama. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. <gasps> there you go. You are a natural. Hell All yeah. right, let's take him in. Let's Follow go. In. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Gray family, okay. Okay. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Uh -huh. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Gray's Another big place. family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're All right. We're left here. Let's do it. Following you. I wish we can go a little faster. Dutch has asked the game to not to use weapons or cards like that. Blah 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 blah. Whoa. Here we are, <clears throat> to Rhodes. Yep, been here before. Up there on your left. 
is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Uh huh, okay. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. Bunch of bullshit. What do you need? Oh, good. Little They're crap. back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Yeah, come on. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Yeah, as soon as hey, my fellas. fucking horse gets there. Chop, Dang. chop. Don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Carry him over then. Damn, man. So fucking bossy. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, uh. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents. Oh, we'll put a leash on them. Who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I lost I my damn hat. I got not my hat on. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town's trapped in this interminable feud between the no two vacancies. families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of the rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose. You start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard. About bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month. There's to the Undertaker. Here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents. Super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's Looks just like talk. Superman. I'm sure it is. But I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Hola. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, All right. I passed okay. by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a hey, fishing yep. trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Um. We can go fishing. Let's Arthur? go fishing. Yeah, let's go. Accept. Sure. Great. Yeah, great. <laughs> Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. It's too Let's dusty, see if we man. Can avoid any more excitement. <laughs> Let's get. All right, gentlemen, follow me. Hey, boy. Put another hat on me. All right, let's go. So, how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll but sharks. As good at I want to catch me a shark. Catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something. 
but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Uh oh. What the hell are you doing? Jose, you run into the damn carriage, man. Ding dong. Uh oh. What the hell? That guy just died right in front of me. Oh, these are the guys we killed earlier. Alright, how long is this light ride, man? Was, do we have to do this the whole way? Come on, man. Are we almost there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> oh, okay. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. Where is this spot, Jose? It's gonna I know, right? Too? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Yay. So beautiful. Easy. A beautiful place. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yeah, I got me some good lures and stuff. Good to go. Yes, over there on the shore. Yep. yep, yep, yep. Catch me a good fish. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. If they did, we'll just shoot him in his face. Alright. Okay, I'm good. Alright. Right. We're gonna push this right. thing out, right? This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. Supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Uh. Uh. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're too, ah, too ah, slap you silly. Enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Row. 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 Good fish. Row. That'll do too. Row. Keep going. Okay. Row. 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 I think he is good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Row. You should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. Yes, sir. Strong with good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert. Boom. Archer. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Such a professional. You got a bite there, Arthur. Yeah, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. 
That feels like a bite. There we go. Oh, that's a big fish. Got away. Got him. Uh oh. Come on, ring it. I don't like the reeling in part. I got a fighter. I got a fighter. I got a bite. Got one. That's got probably good. I should have had that one. Ah, uh, such a rookie. Man, this reeling in crap sucks. Yeah, he got his fucking fish before I even got mine. I think my shit way out there. Something's nibbling. Ha! Got ya! Oh my gosh, come on. This better be a big fish. Did he catch one too? Oh my god. I'm still trying to reel mine in. This is a bunch of bullshit, man. Come on, fish. Over here. Ah, uh, I'm getting close to the boat. Is this a le legendary fish? This is a small fish, I'm gonna be pissed off. Come on. Nope, this way, buddy, this way. It's not a small fish. <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. I'll let Five pounds. Definitely a keeper. I ain't throwing this bitch back out there that that right. far. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Jose. Yeah, that's you pretty that good. Time we sent Arthur out fishing. He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, huh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh yeah, you do. He was maybe twenty, twenty-one. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. I got this another one. Fifteen years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> Come to daddy. The next week, Arthur and I are at the market. Ah, oh, shit. Fishmonger calls out. So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can first, fish. That's the first try I caught. Drinking all day. Rob someone and buy some fish. <laughs> I don't fucking throw far. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved Might to fish. Might have to throw We go out all the time. But one day, we yeah. were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge. And out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Nice, you hooked him. Good job, Arthur. Yeah. All right, my second trout. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? Keep. We had a banquet planned that night until. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna be eating good. Can you I fish behind me? Control of that dog. Uh, oh no, I can't. Spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him. 
Got to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east. We I yank it a little bit with R2 and I rail it in slowly. And then I might yeah, do it again, R2. And then, and then after the ferry job, rail it in. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel Woo! closer to the uh, sky. Uh, 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 uh. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Another trout. Pinkertons had patrols out and all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. Keep. Let's just all right, let's, let's uh, change the bait a little bit. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Oh, they're not gonna let me really? change it. She is? Apparently so. I, yeah, it's I not gonna, gonna let me change it. From an uncle of mine, years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still. I loved her I can only in my own way, and she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even uh, from the uh, grave, uh, boom, she managed know. to have the last laugh. Now, uh, really, uh, 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 I'm trying. i got to let him tire out here. I guess that, that bitch way out there. Ah, oh, this one I haven't caught yet, I don't think. Come to daddy. Well done. Ah, what's this? Another bass? Five pounds? That's a small bass. Five pound nine ounces. That'll grill up nice. I think I'm kicking you guys' asses here. How long we gotta stay here, guys? You got something biting, Arthur. I know, right? And it's right close to the boat, so I don't have to throw my shit way out there. Not bad, Arthur. Another, another trout. Definitely a keeper. Oh, keeping that one. They're all worth keeping. Uh, how much longer we gotta be out here? Anybody know? Huh? Anybody? Alright, um. This is about real close. Let's see if I can catch something real close to the boat. I'm gonna reel it in real slowly. Everybody, shh. Arthur's got a bite. Oh, close to, the right close to the boat, too. Oh, what happened? What the hell happened? Where'd it go? Oh. Uh, I don't know. Caught it? I don't know. It worked, though. Yank it a little bit. Turn it. Every quarter inch. Gonna try this again. Come on. Come on. You got a bite. Woo! What? What the? What happened? Alright, that didn't work. Man, can we go now? What the hell? I'm ready to go, man. I already caught like six fishes. Six fishes. I already caught six fishes. Oh, I threw that bitch way too far. Gotta reel in there real quick. Okay, right there.
That's on the hook, Arthur. Another bass. There you go. That's a nice one. It is, and it looks just like the other ones. Identical. Keeping that one, eh? Fuck yeah, I'm keeping them all. Alright, uh, let's see if I can throw. Uh, no, I want to do that recast. What was that? Oh, now? Alright, that's a good throw. See, I'm a fucking professional at this. I catch fish on the damn game, but in real life, I can't catch shit. I feed the fish when I'm trying to fucking fish in real life. No, 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 no. You ain't going nowhere but in my belly. Come on. You can't swim anywhere. Got it. Five pounds, 15 ounces. That might be the biggest fish I caught. Almost six pounds. Oh, I can't keep no more. Oh, man. The biggest fish. And I can't keep. Oh, you lucky dog. You lucky ass fish. Lucky ass fish. Let's go, man. Hey, I reckon oh. we call it a day. Alright, there we go. Already? Yeah. You ain't been chasing down outlaws. Yeah. Alright. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Do we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could what about the horses? What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you, boys. That was long. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. I got one for you. I... Ask the gal to give me some. <laughs> Ask the gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters are done. I couldn't wait till the taters are done. I couldn't wait till the taters were done. I on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Us? I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 but you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, Exit lights. And tonight. Before we come from the sea. We spend our lives I'm dying to look at my energy, and I can't take no medicine. Oh, I guess I can do that. I've been tapping X. Them. Dance, dance around, around and round and round. Bully boy. Round. Yeah. Bravo. Well, you know, we should not let the folks back. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Ah, oh, look at the girls. They're looking right at us. 
What are these fellas doing? I am so jealous. They get to have fun while we're slaving over some hot food. We gotta cook, we gotta clean, we gotta do dishes. All right. And Molly? I think I, well, I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. Amen, brother. Amen. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, All right. I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pierce. You take in the view. You do, you do that. Freaking. Let's see what we gotta do. Uh, we gotta knock. And Anderson's without taking a hit. Wow, that'd be hard to do. Catch and return Anderson's to jail within five minutes and 30 seconds. I thought I did pretty fast. That's why I was rushing in there. I didn't. Never mind. <laughs>